Now this, uh, obviously the mile uh, is the preferred route that we know that the motorcades will go down uh, to Buckingham Palace and it's always uh, a point of concern for those that are working out the security around these VIP movements because everyone knows effectively that this is happening today. It is a state occasion in that sense. So that just ramps up uh, how uh, the, the planning for the security uh, will have to be on point as it always is. And as I say, this is something that Rishi Sunak will now enjoy throughout his term in office as he prepares to take on as Prime Minister uh, that very difficult job uh, in the midst of, of course, uh, an economic crisis in this country with a war raging in Europe, with a cabinet who've just been effectively freshly appointed. What does he do is the big question now uh, about this cabinet going forward. Do we see a third Home Secretary in as many weeks? We've got Grant Shapps, of course, as Home Secretary uh, at the moment. Uh, but he's, of course, got to deal with a big issue of concern, the migration crisis in terms of all these small boats up towards 38,000 already this year, which is 10,000 more than for the whole of last year. It was something that Suella Braverman said she would get to grips with. She didn't have time. Something that Priti Patel, during her time in office, uh, failed to get to grips with. The numbers just continued to grow while she was in office. Well, we know that Grant Shapps, like his new boss, is still wedded to the Rwanda plan, but that is going nowhere fast because it's still mired in these legal challenges at the Royal Courts of Justice. and We're expecting uh, the High Court in the coming weeks to make a decision on whether this Rwanda policy is actually legal and that's something that uh, the new Prime Minister can actually wholeheartedly embrace as a way of trying to solve this crisis.